we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel and back to 
another video. So today is January 10th. It is my first full work week of the year and I am ready to get into it. So as you guys would have seen, I started this morning with a coffee, some overnight oats, um, I read my two kind of motivational books. I'll just show you them quickly in case you didn't see in the footage. So I've got this one that I got for Christmas. It is the rules of living well and each chapter is like a page and a half and it just talks some sense into you, you know, make sure that you're doing the right thing. And also you guys would have seen this last year if you've been on my, if you've been a subscriber for a while. Um, life lessons from the monk who sold his Ferrari. I read a chapter of that as well before work. Also just a page and a half. Then you guys would have seen in my past weekly vlog that I got this business planner. So I, before I start work and answering emails and everything, I always write out my plans for the day, action items, all that stuff. I'm also trying to start something new this year and that is getting dressed every single day into clothes that make me feel good. So I've got these, you guys have seen these probably a million times already, um, <laughs> even just in one the one vlog I've posted. And then I've just got this really comfy, flowy top that I wear over it because it's kind of hot, kind of not today. So just wearing something that encompasses all of that. We are going to try to be as productive as possible every morning this week and going into the new year. I always say that if you prioritize your mornings and you give yourself time to kind of wake up slow, get the things that you need to get done and you get yourself into a routine, you're guaranteed to have a really good day and hopefully a really good week. Especially now that I'm gonna be freelancing, I need to really get myself into a good routine. So it is now 11. I just finished a meeting. I'm going to carry on working for a little bit. I've got a freelance brief to work on and my normal full-time job to work on. So we're going to get going with that and I'll see you guys a bit later when we make some lunch. lie that was pretty stressful because I just watched like six YouTube videos on how to wrap a wrap properly and I still don't think I got it right. I've just made myself a tuna mayo wrap with green pepper, tomatoes, pepper juice, hummus and chutney I think. I don't usually like green peppers, they're like the least favorite pepper of mine but I feel like with tuna they go so well. So I'm gonna tuck into this, watch some YouTube, have a little break and I'll see you guys after. You have no idea how many things you're resting on right now. But anyway, the lunch was really good. It was actually very filling, so I couldn't finish the second wrap, but still delish, very nice and summery. Um, also, please excuse the traffic outside. Can't wait to not have that in a month and a bit, but I'll update you more on that in this week's weekly vlog. So, I am about to go do my grocery shopping for the week. I've still got quite a lot of things from my grocery shop last week, so I don't need to do a huge one. I just need to get a few little items. But I want to kind of prep things that I can cook this week. I want to really think about it. I have a friend coming for dinner on Wednesday, and I want to make something tonight, but I feel like making something different. I don't know what I feel like, though. So, we're going to finally tap into the cookbooks that I own. <laughs> and see if there's anything in there that tickles my fancy um, and hopefully I can buy like a bunch of ingredients that I can use throughout the rest of the week and just use them to also make 
my meal for tonight so yeah i'm gonna have a quick break it's like one o'clock now i've been working pretty hard so i'm gonna have a quick break and look through my cookbooks and see what i fancy making for dinner tonight so let's go do that I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson Sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head We got nothing to be scared of I'd rather be with you Okay, so I definitely got some inspo. I don't know if I have like a specific exact dish that I want to replicate. I feel like this is me with cookbooks though. Like I never just copy the recipe. I always like take inspo from some of the recipes and then buy the ingredients and end up making my own thing. But anyway, I'm really feeling like one pan lemon chicken dinners and a lot of like fresh bowls. That's like salmon, lentils, and kale, some more like sticky miso chicken, just stuff you can like throw in that's still really nice. And I mean, how freaking good does this look? It's tuna and sobu noodle bowl. Nuda? <laughs> Soba noodle bowl. <laughs> I really like the look of this stuff. So like lots of fresh tomatoes and eggplants and basil and balsamic and butternut with kale and these are like roasted almonds it just looks so nice like just fresh stuff like that that you can just throw together the ingredients are so cheap because they're just veggies and you can literally like make whatever from it and this also i feel like i might make this tonight um because that looks really good with like a caprese salad on the side or something i don't know but I'm going to make a quick shopping list and then we're going to hop to the shops and get our stuff. Okay, we're home. I got way more than I was anticipating, but I feel like that's never really a bad thing because now I don't have to eat out for the whole week. Although I am eating out on Thursday, but other than that, I think I'm going to have enough. Don't know what I'm going to do with all of this. I was just kind of going off gut feeling. So I'm going to show you what I bought. Two things of basil because I'm feeling like fresh, as I mentioned, caprese salads and stuff. So I got two of those. I wish they sold them in bigger packs, but anyway. I got my brinjals, more peanut butter because I've desperately been needing this. I haven't had any peanut butter this whole year. It is so sad. Two red onions. I needed more black pepper but they only sell them as like a package deal so i just got some more salt at the same time a ginormous cucumber some limes some muesli i'm trying this new one with mixed berries because i feel like that looks really nice some crushed up garlic because they didn't sell any fresh ones unless there was like a pack of like 20 which just seemed unrealistic so i've got some crushed garlic and at least it will save me from having to chop it these are my favorite snack. They're little dry roasted chickpeas with dark chocolate and they've got like a mint flavor. They also have orange flavor. I'm sure if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I love these. And this, they don't call it feta, but it is the best feta in the freaking world. Like, oh, it doesn't get any better than that. So some of that. Then I got some pak choy, some... Cherry tomatoes. Guys, I've, I've joined the sriracha train. I, I can't help it, but I'm easing myself in with the mayo. I've only had the mayo. I've had the normal one as well, but it just, I don't know. It's too much for me. So this is a perfect gateway sriracha. <laughs> I got some baby carrots, some olives, 
Last but not least, I got some free range chicken thighs with the skin on and drumsticks with the skin on because I want to make like that one pan chicken thing tonight. So yeah, we've got ourselves a pretty decent haul. I'm going to put this all away now and then I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and I need to crack on with some work. I may or may not have fallen asleep by mistake for 10 minutes <laughs> it's fine it's fine clearly i needed it so i have got on my gym clothes i'm gonna go for a run around the block it's very windy um but i feel like i just need to do something i really want to get back into fitness and stuff so i think i'm gonna go for a run and then when we get back we'll do some weights and leg stuff so that is the plan Alrighty. anyone else ever wake up from a nap and they're just so thirsty oh there's stuff all over my face or is that just me I don't know. Okay. So, I will see you guys when I'm all red and sweaty after my run. Here goes. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me. Going back it up. Oh. Man, I need to get back into being fit. I am <laughs> not there yet. But I did a really nice long run. I ran all the way up. Um, through the hook to the top of the mountain. And then obviously, as you guys saw, I just did some leg stuff. I just finished stretching a bit, and now I'm gonna hop in the shower, do my skincare, um, and just kind of unwind, and then we're gonna get going on dinner. <laughs> noticed or I haven't said it enough 2022 is the year of matching sets and that follows through two pajamas as well how cute are these they're just little gray JT ones anyway time to get cracking on dinner guys I am sorry but who is she I have just created the most insane meal if I do say so myself I just went full chef mode so we've got the chicken thighs and the drumsticks that I bought this morning with some paprika, some red onion, some baby carrots with cinnamon, honey and salt. Then I'm just frying up some pak choy with, well that's loud, I have to take that off the hob. I've been frying up some pak choy with teriyaki sauce, um, lime and garlic. And then I made sweet potato mash. I'm sorry, but like, oh, domesticated goddess or what? something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on too long and unresolved questions hold you down what could have been 
A friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on.